Did you know that the word bug in computers actually came from a real insect? In 1947, a literal bug was causing a computer to malfunction. Yes, it's a surprising true story. Bug and debugging. Imagine it's the year 1947. World War II has ended only a few years ago, and one of the world's earliest large computers, Harvard University's Mark II, suddenly stops working. The engineers are confused. They open the machine, look inside, and what do they see? A small moth stuck inside one of the relays, dead, and short-circuiting the system. The famous scientist Grace Hopper and her team removed the insect, taped it into a logbook, and wrote, First actual case of bug being found. That very logbook is still preserved in the Smithsonian Museum today, and the picture of that moth will definitely make you smile. This incident was so funny and unbelievable that from that day onward, any computer error began to be called a bug, and fixing those errors became known as debugging. Today, when programmers stay up all night hunting down mistakes in their code, they are, in a way, still fighting the descendants of that old moth. The fascinating thing is that early computers were giant machines that filled entire rooms, containing thousands of relays and vacuum tubes. Even a tiny insect could stop them completely. Today we carry smartphones in our pockets that are millions of times more powerful than the Mark II, yet the word bug still lives on. It remains one of the cutest and funniest accidents in the history of technology. So next time your computer hangs or an app crashes, just smile and imagine that maybe a virtual insect is acting up. No matter how advanced technology becomes, some things never change. Did you find this surprising? Share it and tell your friends that a computer bug was originally an actual bug.